Product Marketing Strategies for Small Business Online The 4P Strategy of a Product Hi, my name is Guy Severson, and today I will be speaking with you about the understanding of a product that you're trying to market online and why and how to make that happen best. Before I get into that though, let me just kind of share a little bit about myself. Um, I have a Upwork profile that uh, I've had for quite some time. It's got over 700 hours and 275 jobs completed. Um, wherein I am in the, the, uh, at the moment uh, job success rate of 93% uh, with a top rated um, rate. My focus for most of my work is local and global SEO, video marketing, and content creation. These are the types of things that uh, my clients come to me for, and this is the type of response that I receive from them. Guy is an excellent SEO blog writer that is educated and up-to-date on best practices. Pure white hat. He takes the time to really understand your product and deliver the best result. He is communicative and has very good customer service. I'll be using him for future projects. Thanks for that, Ken. So basically, let's take a look over here at the marketing mix of the 4P strategy of a product. Uh, we, we're talking about uh, the product itself, the price of the product, the placement of the product, and the promotion of the product when we're looking at the entire marketing mix. This article was written by David Schneider. Uh, on March 19th, 2017, it was published on to Ninja Outreach. So let's take a look uh, deeper into the 4P strategy, uh, according to what uh, David has shared here. So first of all, it comes to the product. That is, and now a product can be any one of a variety of things. It doesn't have to be a physical, tangible product. A product can be a service. Um... It's whatever you are trying to get in front of your target audience to get them to take action and uh, choose to work with you as far as purchasing the product and uh, building them as a uh, potential long-term customer, depending on what your product is. Um, but it's, it's whatever your offer is. Once you have the uh, product in place, then it's time to look at the uh, place of the product uh, within your marketing mix. This is the second area that is covered. And basically, within the place, we're talking about, okay, now that you know what you want to bring to market, how are you going to bring it to market? What are, Where is the placement of it? Are you going to use, for example, social media, uh, search engine optimization, pay-per-click advertising, uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook ads. How are you going to get your product that you want to market in front of those people that need to hear about your, uh, uh, your what it is you have to offer? And by the way, I wanted to mention that anyone who leaves a comment below and request to have a, 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 in this video in the comments in below, um, and request to have a free site audit. I am providing that uh, to a select number of people for a limited time, and uh, it's on a first come first serve type basis. Uh, but uh, that's a seventy-five dollar value that I'm giving away absolutely free. Just leave a comment below, and I, I'll. Be glad to help you with that. Now, as it relates to the other two points on your marketing mix, then you have promotion. Okay, so you have decided that you want to have a product, whatever that product is, let's say a red widget, and you've decided that the place that you want that product to show up is um, SEO, which is good. Um, now, another thing about place before I go on here is, you know, how are you going to host the product? Are you going to uh, build a fan page are you uh, from Facebook? Are you going to have a website blog post? Are you going to create a store? 
this is other things to consider in placement. But, you know, placement also really depends on promotion. They all work together. Um, so with promotion, you're looking at, you know, different strategies. Now, what I might recommend as it relates to promotion is a combination strategy. Rather than just going after one area, you want to diversify your attention, diversify your ability, diversify your success. As you create that diversification, you will find that um, your results move to the top. Um, thing with SEO, SEO is good. I mean, that's my main focus. I certainly hope SEO is good, but it takes time. So I don't know if you've got the three to six months to wait for uh, your product to really start gaining the momentum it deserves. Compared to pay, uh, pay-per-click, which is something I really don't focus my own attention on, um, there you've got to have the financial resources um, in order to make that happen. And then the other area is social media. Um, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, that sort of thing. And you can learn, you know, you can gain great mo uh, volume there, but generally social media brings the clicks, but it doesn't necessarily bring the conversions. At least that's my experience. So basically with that, what you can then move forward towards is a combo pro approach. But, you know, one huge way of marketing that is um, oftentimes totally missed is this one right here, video marketing. In fact, with the videos that I market, that I bring to, to, to market both for my clients and for myself, I am able to see top rankings within 12 hours on YouTube and so far Google video really responds well quickly and then as the product uh, matures and whatnot you'll see it uh, come into the Google main search and you know if you're showing on YouTube Google uh, which is a search engine and on Google um, with video it's huge. It's, it's going to uh, cause you great success as a result. Um, however, there could be a problem with the entire process. You could have the best product with the right placement and a great marketing system. But if your price doesn't fit the consumer's expectations of what it should be, either low or high, you're going to be fighting an uphill battle. So you want to make sure you have all four of these areas working together in tandem so that people, when they find you through your promotions of the placement where you've displayed for the product that you want to bring to the table, not only really connect with you, but realize that you are the right person in the right place at the right time for them. Now, my question I would have for you is, which part of this do you need to work on most? Uh, would it be like, for example, the promotions area of your marketing mix? Or could it be on just creating the product itself and, and really defining what that product is, be it tangible or service oriented? Do me a favor. Leave your answer to that in the comments below. And let's just kind of discuss on this video uh, feature what is most important to you when it comes to the uh, four P's of a product marketing strategy. Um, so that, you know, we can, we can learn from one another what product marketing strategies for small business online work best and, and, and what needs you know where, where are there growth opportunities for this so 
before I go, I wanted to let you know why I'm using uh, Ninja Outreach for this. One of the hardest parts of building any blog is outreach or any promotion on site at all. Um, and when I found Ninja Outreach, it was huge. I, I just, it, it's an amazing tool. That's why I put a, I, I became, first of all, became an affiliate with it. And you can find that link in my description below. But sec but secondly, I you know I use this myself, and I recommend that you check this out. They've got a free 14-day trial. Not only that, but if you sign up using my link, I'll also uh, give you a 30-minute uh, coaching. Um, I'll enter your name into a drawing for a 30-minute coaching with me, and my coaching sessions are $125 an hour. Um, so that'll be great value for you as well. Go ahead and use that link. Um, take them for a test drive. I did, and I loved the uh, I love their tool. Um, and one other thing is, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, here you've got the subscribe button right here. Go ahead and just select subscribe, and let's I, I am just in the beginning stages of building my business forward with my viral teen team channel um, where I'm going to be helping business people just like you build their dreams forward on the web um, as you can see I've got a variety of different uh, topics and whatnot within my channel and um, I'm going to be expanding that even more. So anyway, this is Guy Severson. Thank you for uh, coming and listening to Product Marketing Strategies for Small Business Online. Uh, if you have any questions about the 4P strategy of a product, leave them in the comments below, and I look forward to getting to know you more. Take care.